Hello, welcome to gameplay of Robinson The Journey, uh, a game involving uh, Robinson Crusoe as a young boy who crash lands on an alien planet filled with dinosaurs. He is the sole survivor on a, uh, on a uh, skate pod and needs to find out what happened to the rest of the survivors, including his parents, and find a way off the planet. Um, I was broadcasting footage of this earlier, and my VR headset went all wonky, so I had to cancel that, and hopefully this is fixed now. So let's get right into the game. Above the skies of a distant planet, a ship's journey ends in tragedy. One boy reaches the surface, but he is not alone. Higgs, take a look at this. My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area, mainly on account of it being a Tyrannosaur's nest. Oh my! Stay back, Robin. She's cute. That is a vicious predator. I know what you're thinking. No pets. I think I'll call her Riker. Good morning, Robin. I'm so glad you're awake. I've been rather bored without you. You know what I'm like. I start to get a little existential when I don't have someone to care for. Take your time. I think you're going to have a big day ahead of you. Uh, so this is the escape pod uh, that Robinson uh, crashed in. Um, Higgs reminds me a lot of Wheatley from Portal 2, actually. Um, he is the... Well, he essentially the guide. Um, he was built, according to my knowledge, he was built by... Uh, Robinson's parents as kind of like a friend for Robinson. Why not call out for survivors? Use your emergency radio. Someone might be listening today. This is pod 3091659, broadcasting on all frequencies. If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely. I know there's never been a response in over a year, but you really should take this seriously.
This is an emergency escape pod from the DSEV Esmeralda. In case of planet fall, your priority is to survive and regroup with other crew. Ensure that your emergency location transponders are activated in the pod and on your suit. Ensure you have the following essentials in order of priority. Water, food, shelter, heat, and signaling capability. Regularly broadcast your status and monitor all channels for other survivors. Most importantly, stay calm, stay with the pod, and conserve energy. All right, let's go and explore our new dino world. Still standing, even after a year. Can you believe we used to live on that ship? Hurtling through the stars at 67 million miles per hour until... She was a magnificent ship, wasn't she? Other people must have got off as well. How long until we find them, Higgs? You've done extremely well to survive this long. Others might not be so resourceful. Where's Laika got to? Why don't you try calling it? Laika! That beast is up in its hole, hiding from shame, I'd imagine. I'm afraid we have some work to do before you can play with your pet. Best you take a look around. Look at the state of this thing. To think we've spent so long trying to keep dinosaurs out of our camp, and now we've gone and let one in. Let's fix the scarecrow. It's going to need two arms, a head, and a hat to be useful. The multi-tool will fix this up in no time. Well done. Very good. Robinson the Journey is actually one of my favorite VR games. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I personally have no problems with it. Um, I find that it's very immersive. Um, graphically, it's, it's not bad. Um, it's made using the Crisis Engine. Um, and I actually... Um, I mean, it doesn't have a hell of a lot of action in it, but... Uh, it's it's a game of it's an adventure game it's a game of exploration and discovery right so i mean there's not shooting or anything like that You see here, the water turbine's clogged. That's the cause of the power outage. All that roughhouse dinosaur play, it must have tipped these barrels into the water. Excellent, we have power. But I can see now that the circuits need repairing too. Oh, wonderful. I can actually help you with that. So now this view is actually uh, a view from Higgs. Um, everything looks like little toys. <laughs> Ah, 
so good to feel useful. The power should be flowing perfectly now. The wicks will be back online. There it is. Get it to drop that ball before it destroys the thing. It's not like we can buy another one. Come on, Laika. Don't worry about Higgs. I just gotta work on your training so that he doesn't blow a fuse. Down. Now, big test. Can it remember how to play hide-and-seek? Head over to the tree there and start the game. I'm going this way. Hide-and-seek starts at the tree. Simple creature, simple rules. Laika, wanna play hide-and-seek? Now you can start the hide-and-seek game. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, That's cheating. Six, five, four, three, yes, it is. Two, one. Ready or not, here I come. What has it got there? That is a Higgs unit. Get your pet away from him before some serious damage is done. There's precious data in there. We should scan it immediately, Robin. For the scanning methods, you have to hit all the green dots and avoid the red. Precious information, eh? How did it get here? We don't just... This is a colony unit sent ahead of the Esmeralda to lay the foundations of our society. A piece of your history. out of commission too. Those patent B tube apartments you've got coming will be nice, won't they? Entertainment systems, rainforest showers, barbecues, shiny and dry Higgs docks, spare parts and... Please come. We're waiting for you. These guys built a whole landing site. If our crew are out there, that's where they'd start the colony. These Higgs units can tell us where they are. There must be more. Let's find them. I see. Well, the data here suggests there are three more nearby. Come along. Send it to the gate here. These animals are causing the gate to lock.
go, go. Good. Now have it bark at them. Like a roar. That's it. I don't like scaring the poor things, but your friend would have probably eaten them otherwise. Thanks for all your help today, Robin. I know maintaining your home isn't always what you Here want you to do, but it's vital to your survival. Bit further. And you know that's what I care most about. to scan her when she doesn't stay still. Well done. A creature scanned successfully. I'll add that data to your infotarium. So the infotarium um, allows you to find out information on all the creatures you meet and scan in the game. So far we have two, the T-Rex. And Lyco. Before I leave this area, I'm just going to scan a couple of extra creatures. Listen to that. One day, your friend will be just like that monster out there, four meters tall and very hard scan successful. Now I can fall off of here. And you can die in the game from both dinosaurs and falls. Remember to view them in the infotarium.
I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Grobot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. Scan successful. I'll add that one straight away. Now, this playthrough will probably be uh, not the full game, or if it is, it'll be in parts. As uh, now. Robinson the Journey is not a tech demo type game, it is a full length game. It's about six hours long. I know I nag you about this, but it's really about time we started doing some real science. How about more. adding animals to the infotarium? Right. A spot of climbing. You remember what to do, Robin, yes? Both hands holding on tightly, please. You're turning into quite the naturalist. This game, honestly, uh, when when not played or viewed in VR, just doesn't look nearly as good. I mean, in, I'll, I'll have be, that one straight away. I'll be honest; uh, it looks a lot better in VR. Um, oh no! Another perfectly good piece of DSEV equipment ruined. Did that beast of yours destroy it, ungrateful pest? Give her a break, Higgs. She's an orphan. Yes, you're right. I know. Uh, it's a lot more immersive in VR as well. I'd advise against adventure, Robin. It's dangerous. We'd have to explore uncharted areas. We can live here safely by the pod forever. There's Remember living pigs, the and then there's surviving. That pod doesn't even have a shower. Fine, but you can turn back at any time. This direction is definitely dangerous. Processing now. Remember to view them in the infotarium. It's gonna be hard. Good job. There we go. Processing. you'll find that I'm not talking a lot for this uh, let's play um, this is a very immersive game and um, I don't want to talk through all the sounds and everything I really don't
We're gonna go to the jungle first. Which is just down here. See how the vegetation here is becoming denser? That's because you are approaching what you might call a jungle. According to my dictionary, a jungle is defined as an unnavigable area of tangled trees filled with man-eating predators. Okay, C-3PO. Now, everything is very three-dimensional in this game when you uh, play it with a VR. Um, like, like I've said with other games, you actually feel like you can touch everything you see. Um, everything feels... Like, this branch is an example. When I wear the VR, it looks like it's something I can grab. Um, that way is far too dangerous, even if there is a hit unit. It's a jungle. There are monsters and things. Please, you don't need to risk your life over a Higgs unit. You're turning into quite the naturalist. Right. Last chance. Are you quite sure you want to find this unit, Robin? This jungle doesn't look dangerous in the slightest. That was sarcasm. Luckily, they can't get up here, otherwise you'd both be lunch by now. See? Raptors. Remember to view them in the interterrium. I don't think they'll go very far, though. We should avoid the jungle floor. Are you worried about your pet? It's perfectly safe, you know. Against my better judgment, I'd say the higher we go, the less likely it is you'll be eaten by raptors. I think it is. Robin, get up here, quick. I want you to see this. I see an escape pod. Now, don't touch anything. Let me take a look first. This pod launched empty. There was a Higgs unit, but he's gone. Taken. Torn from his dock. Perhaps by some vicious animal. Okay, you were right. There is a Higgs unit. It can't be far. Perhaps we can find a way to make those fungi close. Water seems so there to be are no key. survivors on board. I could take another look for you. Good 
job. Right. Don't look down, but those raptors are still tailing us. Well done. Scan successful. Amazing. Do you think they might be carnivorous? I calculate these vines will take your weight. Some of these butterflies have got the same markings. Here's some field science for you, Robin. Butterflies are very sensitive to light. They'll react to your laser pointer. Oh my, do you think they are bees or wasps? I can't imagine it's good news either way. Grabbing that. Remember to view them in the infotarium. Ah, oh, good. A herbivore. It is big, though. Data converter. You don't, you don't really need to scan these at all, at all. Um, it's mainly unlockables. <sighs> I don't want to waste time scanning that over and over and over and screwing it up. Scanned and added.
good. On we go. Let's see if I get him from this angle. Processing. There was a unit here, but all that's left is his shell casing. Something has taken the data core. It can't have gone far. Those cores are heavy. Oh, why is everything in this jungle so vicious? It must have ripped the poor thing apart. Right, good work. Scan it quickly. I have no wish to stay in this appalling jungle a moment longer than necessary. Hurry up with the stuff. Flight systems down. Connections down. Still, this has been the most exciting day in my personal operating history. What's that? Oh, phew. That doesn't look like it's a danger to me. Wait. Science Higgs didn't even last the night, and I'm no closer to finding other survivors. Not every Higgs unit is as capable as me. Or as conceited. We are very high up. Better be careful. I mean, you be careful. I don't have to be. I can hover. Carry 
carry on this way. It doesn't seem so bad on the way back. Probably because I know we'll be safely home soon. Still bad, though. I know the way. Come along. The end's in sight. Down the line one more time. Ah, she didn't forget about you. Surprising, but sweet. You know, Robin, while I had genuine reason to fear for your safety, you've proven yourself quite a capable adventurer. Now let's go home. So I think I'm just going to do one more small area, the uh, the farm, and then I'm probably going to call it quits for this playthrough. Uh, it's probably we're probably getting into the one hour mark, and uh, I don't want to keep this playthrough going for two hours or whatever. But like I said, it's a very long game, so let's uh, not bore you to death. <laughs> condition if those confounded pterosaurs hadn't started roosting on the cliffside, mischievous pests. Like her, wanna play hide and seek? Good job. It's already learned that the robot is a source of food. You know, sometimes I worry it is wastefully stupid. Other times I worry it is dangerously clever. The robot is offline. That's why there's no signal. Your well-being is dependent on having a reliable source of food. Getting this online again is a priority. I have my suspicions about who's responsible. They've got one of those hitch units. Those birds will steal anything. Robin, you must save him. Processing now. Where's that pterosaur going? You know the rules, Higgs. Get out. Oh, yes. Sorry. I'll add that one straight away.
I see the pterosaur nests. They make them out of our trash. I bet they break pretty easily. As I suspected, the Wix is offline as well. I don't think this is a coincidence. Something is conspiring against us. Something bigger than both of us. I'd wager those pterosaurs are behind this power outage. Let's find the proof so we can exact a fitting revenge. Climbing this power cable all the time, Robin. We must install a proper ladder for you. Look at this. The wind turbine has been savaged. The blades are everywhere. I'm telling you, Robin, those pterosaurs will rule the day. Blade detached. Good work. parts for the power supply to get really done. There's one there. No! Okay, that's a game glitch. <laughs> and added. Now as you can no doubt tell, the uh, this game is very much an open world, world game. Um, there's a lot to do. successful.
Just remember that. Oh! Have you perhaps checked the wind turbine up there? So yeah, yes, that is Robin right there, that little person standing there. Um, and as I said before, these uh, little puzzles are through Higgs's point of view. So way up high in the sky, everything looks like little toys. It's actually kind of neat. <laughs> And there's the Growbot. Now, don't waste all that food getting that creature to perform party tricks. Do you ever listen to me? No. In the Infratarium. If you keep this up everywhere you go, we'll soon have huge volumes of data. With the wicks online, we can shift that debris. Well, you can. Good. Nothing like a spot of tidying, eh, Robin? Outrageous! What you said was true. Those pterosaurs have a Higgs unit in their nest. A crew unit, no less. This has gone too far, Robin. There are some risks involved, but I'm sure I can rely on you to get him back. That's Deserve property. Bring it back.
Data converting. I'll add that one straight away. Destroy the nest, Robin. You won't seriously harm them, but you will send them a message. They're cunning. Unsophisticated, but cunning nonetheless. Again, we've got to be smarter. He won't move. We need to give it a scare. the beast on it oh it can't follow that command get here
Hey, girl. Alright, so let's do this one more time. I kept screwing that up, so I have to get like a scare. to get Leica to scare the pterosaur by growling at it. Don't know why I didn't remember that. So much for this being an hour. <laughs> That's right, fly away, you little white beast. Get here. It's given up. Go now. Go roar! There we go. <laughs> roar! <laughs> roar! Roar! Do it again! Do it again! Roar! Oh, oh! I enjoyed that. back to Magellan. I must say, I don't much like it here. The people look at me like I am prey. I can imagine them tearing me apart to find something valuable they could trade for food. I could almost imagine them trying to eat me. They do look hungry. I wish we could make an arrest, but you are right. We can't risk civil disorder. We don't want to make this Lawrence fellow a martyr. Times were desperate after the deep space event. It nearly destroyed us. We couldn't live as we had before it. Some had to do without. Those whose children wouldn't make it to Tyson III suffered terribly. Thankfully, they stopped the madness, but people weren't comfortable working together after that. We didn't realize it, but the colony mission was in jeopardy. You were Columbus crew, of course, selected for your genes. You are a born survivor, Robin. Quite a drop. Well done. Sorry to take liberties with your safety in there. Got a bit carried away with that whole revenge thing. But the pterosaurs learned a lesson, and you discovered something about the Esmeralda. So all good then, eh? Alright, so I will quickly pull up the stuff that we've gathered so far, and then I'm going to call it tonight for uh, this gameplay.
So here are the things we've already scanned. I don't think that woodpecker is supposed to be inside the log. <laughs> That's funny.
So these are the communicators that we pick up. These are these little things that we find throughout the maps that we scan. I have never found all of them. There's tons. And they give you little details. And that looks like it's it. These are all the side missions and main missions. What I've done, what needs to be done, etc, etc, etc. And of course the map. These are just the locations that I've gone to so far. As you visit locations, they become unlocked on the map. So there's still quite a bit of the map that's uh, unrevealed. Anyway, that concludes my gameplay of, uh, I guess, part one of um, Robinson the Journey. Tune in next time for uh, a second part, and we'll explore more of this beautiful dinosaur planet. Have a good night.